You ever take a photo and the colors are just really blah, like they really suck? Well, in just a few easy steps, I'm going to show you how to make those colors pop. This is Rob Baldwin, and if you're finding me for the first time, I do Photoshop tutorials twice a week, every week. So hit subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and let's jump right in. So here's the photo we're lo looking with. And as you know, uh, the first thing I like to do is create a new duplicate of our layer. Okay? Now we're going to add a couple adjustment layers. The first thing we're going to do is adjustment layers. So get a curves, and we're just going to tighten in the black and the white. Usually when colors are dull, it's because the black and whites are not defined. So tighten those in and then play with the curves until you kind of like where the contrast is. Next thing we're going to do, another adjustment layer, we're going to hit Vibrance. So we're just going to bring up the Vibrance. That's just going to make the colors pop a little bit. And you're going to get pretty far up with the Vibrance. And then Saturation, that's going to be preference, but Saturation really makes the colors pop. So don't go too high with those, otherwise it's going to look a little weird. Okay? So right away we've already, just with two adjustment layers, Curves and Vibrance, we've really given our image a lot of um, character. Next thing we want to do is we want to add color. Okay, so first was just some adjustment layers. Now we actually want to paint some color on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to grab the quick selection tool up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward here as I select um, this first part of the lake. So not the green reflection part, just the white or the bluish white reflection part. So use a quick selection tool and then I use the lasso tool to refine my selection until I've selected pretty much just uh, the water. We're gonna grab a blue color and apply it to our layer and apply the selection we made to the mask. The blue color, and as you can see our mask here is the selection we just made. Okay, we're gonna switch the um, blending mode to overlay Drop the opacity a little bit because it's quite strong. And it's a subtle change, but as you can see, the water now has a much brighter blue. Okay, and you can play with that the way you like it. You could up the set, up the um, opacity to wherever you like. We're gonna grab a brush and we're just gonna refine our mask. So with the mask layer selected, lower that opacity a little bit. And we're just gonna refine, uh, you know, where it kind of, it kind of turned the rest of the water a bit too green here, so just paint that out. And just go ahead and refine the edges as best you can. A lot of this is preference, you just do it until you're happy with the results. I like that. Okay. So we can do the same thing to the hat here. So this hat is blue, but it could be a more interesting blue. So I'm going to select, using the quick selection tool once again, select the hat. If you have to use the lasso to refine your edges, go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the lasso tool here. A little adjustment to be done. Remember to hit Option or Alt to minus, Shift to add to your selection. And same as we did before, we're gonna add a blue color. We're gonna pick a different blue. This time, not purple, but blue. Dark blue, and we're gonna fill that layer. Of course, it's got the mask applied. I'm gonna switch this one to soft light. And as you can see, it just deepened the color of that, of his hat. Really cool. I can lower the opacity. I always like, I never like to keep things at 100 opacity. I think it adds a bit, gets a bit weird. Next technique that we can do is to make colors pop is to accentuate colors, okay? So we've got a lot of blue going on in this photo. So by adding a different color, something different, we can accentuate it. And I think I'm gonna do that to the bucket. So I've selected the bucket here. Okay, so we just kind of fast forwarded through the selection process. You guys know how to do that. Quick selection, lasso to fix it up. But we're gonna do an adjustment layer this time. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move the saturation or and the hue, and we're gonna switch the color of that blue bucket. And we're gonna get it to something different. Maybe a green, green looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Let's lower the lightness to really make that color pop. It's looking good, but there's already some greens in my in my photo, so let's change it maybe yellow. And, you know what? Red. I'm liking red. Okay. Or purple. Or orange. But no, red's, red's the way to go. Up the saturation. So now that red really pops because there's no not really any other red in the photo, so making it red really makes it pop. 
The last thing we do is do some color accents. So actually adding colors to different areas of our, of our image really accentuates and makes the image pop. So adding a new layer, we're gonna get a brush. We're gonna pick a yellow, kind of sunlight yellow color. Cause this is gonna be kind of the sun. We're gonna kind of simulate the sun, really strong sun flashing down. So grab a very, fairly hard brush, zero hardness, 100 opacity, and we're just gonna draw around the lake, around this area, top right corner of the image. I want more feathering, so I'm gonna blur. So go to image, uh, add a Gaussian blur, fairly high Gaussian blur, hit okay. And we're just gonna add an overlay. We're gonna switch that to overlay. So as you can see, it adds a really nice yellow color. Now what we can do is we can hit Command and Control T for transform and we can just scale it up, rotate it, just position it the way you want it. I'm liking that. Let's lower the opacity, it's a bit strong, but that's looking pretty cool. Now same technique, I'm gonna add a blue accent in the opposite corner. So exactly the same techniques we just did in the opposite corner. Last thing we can do is add a lens flare. Okay, I. This is preference, some people don't like lens flares. I think it adds a nice little something to our photos. Uh, it depends on the photo really, but this, we've got the sunlight in there. A lens flare could be pretty cool. Now, the lens, the, the default lens flares that Photoshop gives you are terrible. I never use them. So you, for this, unfortunately, you do have to go into a third party plugin if you wanna get your own lens flares. Unless you've got some preset photos or stock photos that you've got of lens flares on a black background, this would work fine. Otherwise, you will have to use a third party plugin. I'm gonna show you the one I like to use in a later video, I'm gonna upload that as soon as it's uploaded, the link will be right here. You can click and go see that video. I'm gonna show you exactly how I end up with this lens flare. Okay, so here we go. We got a nice picture of a lens flare. Copy that, paste it into our image. We're gonna switch the blending option to linear dodge add. Here we are. And it's a little strong. It's nice, but it's a little strong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a mask. Grab a brush, you guys know the drill, we do this all the time, lower the opacity, and we're gonna kind of um, lower, paint this in, paint it away, and just make it disappear in certain areas, stronger in certain areas. And again, preference, get this the way you like it. Okay, good. Okay, now that's it for adding, making colors pop. The last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the little accents to the photo that I always do when I retouch photos. Uh, we're gonna sharpen, and then we're just gonna do a final curves adjustment to make sure the image is exactly how you want it. So I'm gonna fast forward through this. If you wanna see how I do this, click the link up in the corner, and we have another video that really goes into detail on sharpening. But basically I'm just sharpening the focus of the photo, which is um, my son here in the, in the foreground. So we're just going around, sharpening the edges, Perfect. It's subtle, but it adds a huge difference. Last thing we're gonna do, little adjustment layer curves, tweak it ever so slightly, and I'm very happy with that. So as you can see, this is what we started with, and this is our final result. Phenomenally better, lots of color, really bright. I'm right away, I'm gonna record another video, show you how to do the uh, lens flares that I created, and these are really versatile and You'll learn a lot from that so once that's up please check that out uh, we've got a playlist with a lot more photo retouching and photography tutorials so click that link and check out those videos leave a comment guys let us know what you think what what did you like about this video what would you like to see in the future and we'll see you next time this is rob baldwin cheers